All right, here's an example. We're given the cosine of A is 12 over 13. We're given the sine of B is 3 over 5. And we want to find, we're going to find a couple things here. We're going to find the sine of A minus B. And we're going to find the tangent of A plus B. So the first thing we want to do is make our chart. And here's our chart. And we've got sine and cosine. So we know the cosine. There's A. There's B. So the cosine is 12 over 13. And this row is going to be sine. And that's going to be 3 over 5. We also know that A is in quadrant 4. And we know B is in quadrant 2. All right, so we first need to find um, the sine of A and the sine of B. And then eventually, we're then going to find the tangent of A and the tangent of B. And then we'll be able to find uh, the sine of A minus B and the tangent of A plus B. All right, so let's work on A first. And I'm going to do each one of these um, kind of differently here. So we know that, let's see, cosine of A is 12 over 13. So we know that, there's our right triangle. So this is the same as X over R. So X is 12. R is 13. We want to find Y. So 12 squared plus Y squared equals 13 squared. And when you do that, you end up with, let's see, Y is uh, 5. So then the sine of A, well, that's going to be Y over R. That's going to be 5 over 13. 5 over 13, but wait, it's quadrant 4, so that means it's got to be negative. Okay, now let's work on uh, B. Let's work on B down here. So we know the sine of B, well, that was 3 over 5, so there's my little triangle. So that means that the Y is 3 and the R is 5. So 3 squared plus X squared equals 5 squared. So X is going to turn out to be 4. So then the cosine of B, well, that's going to be 4 over 5. 5. And we are in quadrant 2, so that's got to be negative, okay, there we go, so that's negative, alright, so let's find the sine of A minus B, and I'm going to do some erasing. And then I've got my numbers right here. Alright, so the sine. Alright, so let's do this. Sine of A minus B. So that's going to be the sine of A times the cosine of B minus cosine A times the sine of B. All right, let's just fill these in. So the sine of A was negative 5 over 13. And the cosine of B was negative 4 over 5. And then I'm subtracting. Cosine of A is 12 over 13. And the sine of B is 3 over 5. All right, let's multiply these out. Um, all right, and before I do this, I just want to give you a, a little, um, kind of a little hint here. When you multiply these out, all of these problems, 
see how this is always this is 13 times 5 and this is 13 times 5 and then you're gonna in this case you're gonna subtract them so they have a common denominator these problems always will have a common denominator so resist the urge to uh, do something like that which is something I normally do because I like to reduce my fractions but if I reduce my fractions before I do the subtraction then I gotta go find a common denominator so that would be defeating the purpose. So let's not do that. Let's just go ahead and multiply this up. Alright, so negative times a negative is a positive. 5 times 4 is 20. And 13 times 5 is 135. Minus 12 times 3 is 36. And of course, uh, 13 times 5 is 135. There's my common denominator. 20 minus 16, or er, minus 36 is negative 16 over 135. Alright, so the sine of A minus B is going to be negative 16 over 135. Alright, so let's find tangents now. Now I will open a new sheet of paper here. Okay, so let's first find the tangent of A. And that's going to be the sine of A over the cosine of A. So that's going to be negative 5 over 13 over 12 over 13, which is negative 5 over 12. So you could write that in that box right there, negative 5 over 12. That kind of helps you keep track of it there. Alright, so now let's find the tangent of B. Well, that's going to be the sine of B over the cosine of B. And that's going to be 3 fifths over negative 4 fifths. And that's negative 3 over 4. And again, we could write that in that box right there. Negative 3 over 4. Okay. Now we're ready to find the tangent of A plus B. That's going to be the tangent of A times the tangent of B plus, there we go, plus tangent of A plus the tangent of B, there we go, all over 1 minus tangent of A, now times tangent of B. Alright, let's fill them in here. Tangent of A, that was negative 5 over 12, plus tangent of B is negative 3 quarters, all over 1 minus negative 5 twelfths times negative 3 quarters. Alright, so now we have to, I'm going to work sideways a bit and then I'll open a new piece of paper. Let's do the numerator first. So negative 5 twelfths and then this is going to be minus and I need to have a common denominator that would be 12 and 4 times 3 is 12 so 3 times 3 is 9. There we go all over 1 minus, and this is multiplication, so a minus a minus is a plus, so I have 5 times 3 is 15, 12 times 4 is 48, let's do a little bit more over here, alright, so a negative 5 minus 9, that's going to be a negative 14 over 12, and this 1, I can change that. I'll do that right here. Change the 1 to a 48 over 48. So 48 minus 15 is 33 over 48. And I'm actually close to being done, so why don't I just make some room up here. Alright, so we have negative 14 over 12 times the reciprocal, so 48 over 33, and when you do that and reduce it, you get negative 56.
six over thirty three. There you go. There is the tangent of a plus 